Fab Five Assemble They may not be superheroes, but Antony, Tan, Jonathan, Karamo, and Bobby are the only squad that we want to save us. Hey guys, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Queer Eye Fab Five moments. <laughs> That's how you yell in audition queens, and it wasn't like that. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at cast moments from outside the show and excluding solo outings like when Tan gave Pete Davidson a makeover. Let's go! Why do you have to wait until payday to buy a polo shirt with an alligator on it? Because of Lacoste. <laughs> That's what I'm Number 10. The Fab Five make over a people writer's husband. What is it that you like about yourself? I would never consider myself sexy, so. Will we ever tire of seeing the guys make over deserving people? Never. That's why it's so great to see them help people outside of the show as well. We loved when James Corden roped them into making over the guitarist in his house band so he could reach his full rock star potential. What do you think your wife and son are going to say when you walk in the door? Who is that handsome devil walking in the door? Yeah! It was even more heartwarming to see them help Terry, the husband of a People magazine writer. If you want to have true romance and love in your life, you have to first love yourself because love is a mirror. What you see in yourself is what you're going to reflect to the rest of the world. They showed him that you don't have to be a superstar to look like you're in the pages of People's Sexiest Man Alive issue. Every day sexy is achievable for anyone. Number 9. The Fab Five Ace A Friendship Test You're sweaty, but I love holding you. Yeah, you're sweaty too. Despite the guys not knowing each other before the show, they've become fast friends, which has been wonderful to watch. There's a lot of things in my life that I want to do, but I'm terrified of failing and I don't do them. And to watch you get up there and do something that I know you were scared to do made me so happy. So Glamour challenged them to take the ultimate friendship test by doing things like trust falls, sharing compliments, and staring into each other's eyes. I want to make out with you. <laughs> <laughs> it made me want to give you a hug. I know! Oh my God. It's quite the emotional video as they share their true opinions of each other, getting to the heart of who they are. The five show how beautiful friendship can be when you let your walls down. A lesson for all of us. I feel so good about falling into my brother's arms. Yeah! yeah. Number 8. The Fab Five Share Coming Out Stories Unfortunately, coming out isn't easy for most people, and it can be even harder for members of marginalized communities. I come from a really Middle Eastern background, a really religious background, and so telling people is hard. That's why it's important for public figures like the Fab Five to share their coming out stories to help. And I remember my mom just looking at me and she's like, I know, and it disgusts me. And I just picked my bags up and walked right back out the door. In an intimate video for Pride Month, the boys shared their own struggles to become who they are today. I was really uncomfortable when I got this job and people asked me what show I was on and I would whisper, queer eye, like I had some shame with the word. Their story spanned the gamut and we even got to hear some of the ways they still struggle with both external and internalized homophobia. Everyone's story is a progression and there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can be 7, you can be 30, you can be 60 years old. Just continue on that journey. Number 7. The Fab Five in Conversation Let me see you try and do this. Soundbite. But yours was a soundbite, mine was too. That was good. Yours was a Let's essay. Let's keep talking about Go. <laughs> We'd spend all day just hanging out with the team if we could, so it's an added bonus when we get these in-depth conversations with the guys. And that's why visibility is so important, and us five showing up and showing up proud and loud and saying we are going to be here, but yet we are also going to love you is how we're trying to combat that. To celebrate the show's second season and Pride Month, they sat down with Teen Vogue's Philip Picardi at the 92nd Street Y to talk about everything, ranging from how their show is different from the first iteration to RuPaul's Drag Race. That that dandelion situation. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, if we ever get a season three or four, do not be surprised if I come out in there. <laughs> if you have an hour and a half, the interview offers insight into how they cast the show and how their chemistry shone through. Number six, the Fab Five does a compliment battle. I mean, little boy. seriously, he's just a little boy. You're like this ball of sunshine. <laughs> Sometimes the internet can be a toxic place, but it doesn't have to be that way. Case in point, delightful videos like this compliment battle that the team filmed with Teen Vogue. Instead of roasting each other, they read compliments from fans of the show and each other with the goal of making the recipient of the compliment cry or crack up. 
Mm-hmm. Look at that buttery soft skin. <laughs> 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 Try not to laugh as Jonathan tells Bobby he has beautiful thighs or watching them growl at each other. They're playful and fun in a way you can't fake. Number 5. The Fab Five Give Netflix's Nerds a Makeover just because they're the ones who help put the show on the air doesn't mean that Netflix employees aren't immune to needing a little help themselves. That's why the boys took over the Netflix IT department, nicknamed the Nerds Department, to give John the lead nerd a mini makeover. John, you ready? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Their brand of TLC works in all settings, whether it's at a person's home or at the office. They made John feel more confident, and Bobby outdid himself with transforming their workspace into somewhere more functional and inviting. But when other team members from Netflix come up to get their stuff fixed, I want them to have a place where they can chill and talk to the nerds because everyone loves the nerds. And with Karamo's team building exercise, they prove that the workplace can and should be just as welcoming as a home. This way you always know your team has your back. Whoa. No okay, longer do you have to have that fear. So on the count of three, show them as much love as you possibly can. One, two, three! <laughs> Number four, the Fab Five make a BuzzFeed quiz. My favorite transformation of the moment is just because of the interaction. Shush! <laughs> BuzzFeed quizzes are ridiculous fun to fill out, but who'd have thought that watching someone make a quiz could be just as entertaining? And he's like giving you a gorgeous, quiz moment right now. When the Fab Five visited the website's office, they were tasked with making a quiz about themselves. They were kind of a mess, but in the best way possible. <laughs> One has to wonder, are these really my friends or are they actually nightmare tramps? Their interpersonal dynamics were on full display, like when Bobby got stressed out about Karamo's typing and grammar. Oh God, so Karamo's typing's killing my Virgo -ness. What are you saying? A is not capitalized. A shouldn't be capitalized. We got to learn a little more about the guys, such as what their perfect date would be, all while watching them squabble. We're not getting a call back, it's fine. Do you need my- No, we don't need no. that. Head to BuzzFeed.com to figure out who your soulmate is. Number three, the Fab Five insta-stalk each other. Anthony likes to be like, um, oh my gosh, you just caught me like this. Don't, no, look away. If you're not following these guys on social media, then you're definitely missing out. Actually, I love this picture of Tan. He looks like a little schoolboy. It's cute. The Fab Five are always commenting on each other's Instagram posts, leaving the most uplifting and hilarious messages for each other. Love pink Starbucks. If you put them in the freezer, they're delicious. Also a little fun fact, I can unwrap one in my mouth. So it was fun to watch them do it in real time and to hear some of the stories behind their previous posts. When Jonathan's ready to post a picture, he will ask me to take his phone and choose his, my favorite ones. I think he's obsessed with what I think of him and he's right to be. They are the epitome of squad goals and hearing them talk about each other without the others around is just as enjoyable as watching them interact. This is like, just like the man of everyone's dreams holding this corgi. Number two, the Fab Five does nailed it. Well, all we're doing is that folding, yeah? Got it. You want to keep Why the is that called in. folding? You want to keep Tim, the air stop in. stop helping him so much. Shut up, don't learn from me. You look at your own stuff. No. Arguably the second best Netflix reality show, after Queer Eye, of course, it was a treat to watch the guys go on Nailed It and test their culinary talents. With Antony serving as a judge, the other four had to recreate cupcake versions of each other. It was great fun to see them out of their element flustered as they had to figure out how to get their creations to resemble their castmates. And the competitive streaks came out. Jonathan was in it to win. My middle name is attention to detail. While Karamo almost quit. Tan was still a team player while Bobby quietly did his thing. Not really a surprise, Bobby took home the cake but we'd love to see a rematch. I won, so I'm the best of the worst. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Most likely to eat dessert first. Oh, oh, actually. You moron, you don't know me at all. But for me, uh, keeping us out of the room is all I'm saying is not but I don't going think, to but, help. But to me, he's, you know, not, he's not keeping us out of a room because I think there's other rooms that are having much more productive conversations and I'm not gonna bring my hard work and my identity to someone that I know will not appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. But I really respond to you doing that. The person who does a really good British accent on this show is, is not him, it's, it's him. Ooh. But Hold on, you won't allow me. it. It's oh. Me. Oh. oh, that's not a thing. Oh. That's not a thing. Oh.
that's not real. That's no, like a gotcha question. Real. I want you to evaluate why did you break up? Because a lot of times when we get away from someone, we forget all the stuff that was wrong and we start not remembering like, oh, reason we broke up is because they didn't call me, they didn't respect me, they didn't love me. Number one, the Fab Five does Beyonce, Gaga, and Britney. We already know the guys are stars, but it was incredible to watch them channel their inner divas on Lip Sync Battle. Karamo and Jonathan teamed up to give a fierce performance of Lady Gaga and Beyonce's Telephone, while Bobby Tan and Antony slayed Work Bitch by Britney Spears. All of the guys got into the moves and lip syncing, and it was obvious they were having just as much fun as the audience. But the piece de resistance was when they combined forces to perform Grown Woman by Beyonce. The guys are never better than when they're working together, and this show of teamwork tops it all. And they listen to me when I, talk, I, ain't I am living for Antony as Toxic Britney Spears. Well, now I feel like going to binge watch all of Queer Eye and Grab My Eyes Out, but what you should do is check out our other great Queer Eye videos, and don't forget to subscribe for more heartwarming stuff like this. And you know what? In the words of Jonathan Van Ness, you are strong, you're a Kelly Clarkson song, you've got this.